What? Subtraction and division are related? Okay, well, since we opened it up and you love my little mustache man, let's move on and see exactly how subtraction and division are related. First, we need to review the parts of a division problem. So let's take a look at these parts. All right. First, we have the dividend. The dividend is the number, is the big number right here. This is the dividend. So our dividend for this problem is 18. It's the big number that you're going to divide, to divide into smaller groups. Your divisor is the other number that you're dividing. It's the number of groups that you're going to put the big number, the dividend into, or it's the number that you're going to put into each group, so the divisor. And then your quotient is the answer to a division problem, the quotient. So 18 divided by 3, 18 people, or 18 little cute monsters, divided into three groups would give us six monsters in each group. The 6 is our quotient. So take a look at number 4 right here. The dividend is 21 because that's the biggest number in the division problem. The divisor is 7 because that's the number of groups we're taking out. And then 21 divided by 7, 21 little green monsters divided out into 7 groups would give us 3 monsters in each group. We also know that because 3 times 7 is 21, and 6 times 3 is 18. Great little review. Now let's see what happens. We're looking at division with a repeated subtraction strategy. So let's look at a couple division problems first. We have 12 divided by 4 equals something. Well, we can either know our multiplication facts backwards, but if you don't, we can take repeated subtraction. So let's take a look. We take our dividend, which is the 12, okay? And we sub take that and subtract the divisor until we have 0. So let's look at what we do here. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Once we have that, we're going to move that 8 up here and keep subtracting. 8 minus 4 is now what? 4. Very good. Then we're going to move the 4 up like this. 4 minus 4 is 0. We have to get to 0 when we do repeated subtraction to make sure that we've used all of the dividend. Okay, If we're sharing out the cookies or the cupcakes or the monsters, we want to make sure that we've used all of them. We don't want to leave any left over. Let's look at this one. 20 divided by 5 equals something. So we're going to take 20, which is the dividend, and we're going to put it right here, and we're going to subtract 5, which is the divisor, all the way, as many times as we need to until we get to 0. So let's do that together. 20 minus 5 is 15. We're going to take that 15, put it at the top, and subtract 5 again. 15 minus 5 is 10. Very good. Put it up here. 10 minus 5 is 5 and move this up here. 5 minus 5 is 0. Now what we need to do to know the answer to our problem is to count how many times we subtracted. So let's go back up to this first problem. 12 divided by 4. We took 12 and we subtracted 4. How many times did we subtract 4? Let's look. We subtracted 4 1, 2, 3 times. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. We can check our work by doing it backwards. 3 times 4 equals 12. Is that correct? Yep. So now let's count our problem for this. 20 divided by 5 equals, I want to know how many times I subtracted 5. So let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4. I subtracted 5 4 times. So my answer is 4. 20 divided by 5 equals 4, or 4 times 5 equals 20. That's how I check my work. So let's take a look at this problem. 
Serena and Mandy brought a total of 12 newspapers to school for the recycling program. Each girl brought in one newspaper each day. For how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? I know you're thinking right away, whoa, it's a word problem. But let's look at our important things. Here's a number. How many newspapers did they bring in all together? They brought in a total of 12 newspapers. That's the important number. We need to know number one. And let's look. How many newspapers did the girls bring in all together each day? Well, how many girls are there? Each girl, there's one, two girls. If each girl brought in one newspaper each day, which is our important information, each girl brought in one newspaper each day, for how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? Well, if each girl brought in a newspaper, that would be two newspapers a day. So what division problem does that give us? That gives us, using our important numbers, that gives us 12 divided by 2 equals, and we're going to figure out that number. Okay. Another way to write that, by the way, is two, 12 divided by 2. Okay, so you might see it that way sometime. But we're going to look at it this way for right now. Using our repeated subtraction, let's look at what we do. We take our 12 and we're going to subtract 2 until we get nothing left, until we're at 0 and we've used all the newspapers. So the first day, the girls brought in 2. What is 12 minus 2? That's 10. Let's bring the 10 up. We're going to use 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. We're going to subtract again because we're not at 0 yet. So put 8 at the top and subtract 2 more. 8 minus 2 is 6. Bring up that 6 and subtract 2 again. 6 minus 2 is 4. Are we there yet? Nope. So we're going to bring the 4 up. 4 minus 2 is 2. Oop, that's not zero, so we're going to keep going. And 2 minus 2 equals zero. So there we are. We are at zero. Now, what do we need to do? We subtracted, we started with 12, and we subtracted 2 all the way until we got to zero. Now we need to know how many times we subtracted 2. So let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We subtracted 2 6 times. So, how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? They brought in newspapers 6 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is one way to solve this problem. Let's look at another way. Alright, looking at the same problem, we still have the same important numbers. Serena and Mandy each brought in 12 newspapers, and each of them brought in one newspaper a day, which gives us two newspapers per day. Each girl, remember, each girl brought in one newspaper each day. So if you have two girls bringing in one paper, you get two papers. All right, so that gives us the same problem. 12 divided by 2 equals, okay? We want to know how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? We used repeated subtraction before, and we're going to do it again, but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it with a number line. So with a number line, remember, we could go forward when we're adding, but when we're subtracting, we go, that's right, we go backwards. So we're going to start with 12. How many jumps are we going to make, or how many are going to be in each of our jumps? Two, because two is how many newspapers they brought in. So we're going to go backwards from 12 because they, we know how many all together they brought in. So we're going to start with 12 and we're going to jump back to 1. Let me use my pointer so you can see first. We're going to 1, 2 to 10. Okay, so now I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to jump from 12 to 10. That's one jump, okay, or one day. Then I'm going to jump from 10, and I'm going to jump two more to 8. That's the second day, okay? 8, 
jumps to six. That's the third jump or third day. Six jumps to four. That's the fourth jump or the fourth day. Four jumps to two. That's the fifth jump or the fifth day. And two jumps to zero. And that's the sixth jump or the last day. How many jumps did we have all together? Well, look back and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many days did they bring in two newspapers? They brought them in six times, six days. We can check that by looking at six times two equals 12. All right. All right, guys, let's review what we did in this video. Don't be scared like my cute little giraffe over here. He's pretty awesome, but don't be scared like him. We know we can use repeated subtraction. Yay! You take the dividend, which is the largest number, in 12 divided by 2, and you take the dividend and you subtract the divisor until you get down to 0, and that gives you your answer. So repeated subtraction is always an option. All right. The other option is the other one we talked about, and that's the number line where you take your, multi your division problem like this, and you take your number line and you start on your divisor, your biggest number, and jump backwards on your number line. All right, you can always use that as an option. Now, the last one is the one we know of all the time. Knowing your multiplication facts is really going to help you just get awesome at division. So you take your multiplication facts, and if you know them really well, then you know that 12 divided by 2 is 6 because 6 times 2 equals 12. All right, that's with those fact families. That'll help you learn your division facts. So use these strategies when solving the problems in the WISC and in the practice problems that we use throughout the day. Good luck.